Hello everybody, John Robinson here, power technical consultant for Eastern Nebraska and Western Iowa. And today I find myself outside the lovely CD Lincoln location. And we're gonna talk about connecting to a VFD using a 1203 USB. The 1203 USB is Rockwell Automation's method of choice for direct connection to drives. Now many of you might be thinking, I connect my drives with an Ethernet cable. Why buy an extra piece of equipment like a 1203 USB? Well, there are three reasons. Reason one, if your drive does not have an Ethernet port, then using an Ethernet cable will not work. Reason two, using a 1203 USB in conjunction with an already networked drive allows you to access drive parameters without breaking an existing network connection. And reason three, the 1203 USB acts as a fuse. If there is a fault or surge, any voltage that finds its way to the DSI or DPI cable will be suppressed by the COM module. Furthermore, you may replace the USB cable that comes with the 1203 with a cable of your chosen length. This will allow a user to remain at a safe distance where our flash regulations are in place. With an understanding of why the 1203 is important at hand, let's move on to some general information. The full 1203 USB kit includes the 1203 adapter, a DSI and DPI cable, and a USB cable. The DSI cable will allow connection with 4 and 5 series drives, while the DPI cable will provide connectivity with 7 series drives. Go to the PCDC website in order to download drivers for the 1203 USB. Once the drivers have been installed, Connect your 1203 USB by way of USB port to your PC. Navigate to your device manager and extend the port's dropdown to see which COM port the 1203 is connected to. Remember this COM port number. Now move on to RS Links. Open up the program and click on to configure drivers. For driver types, choose RS-232 DF1 adapter. Click the Add New button and provide your driver with the name of your choosing, and then click OK. Choose the appropriate COM port within the COM port drop-down. Choose 1770 KF2 for the device type. Change the baud rate to 115,200 and then click OK. Your 1203 USB driver has now been set up. Once you've configured your 1203 USB driver, you may connect to any drive using the 1203 USB COM adapter and configure parameters. Speaking of configuration, Connected Components Workbench is Rockwell Automation's preferred drive configuration software. You may use it to connect to any drive using the 1203 USB driver created inside of RS Links. And that, in a nutshell, is how to configure and use a 1203 USB with your computer to connect to a drive. I hope that you found this information useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good one.